Hey guys, welcome to the Everything Tech channel, bringing you the world of technology. And here in my hand, I have my D3200, the camera I usually use to shoot my videos, and my backup camera, which is up here, my HDR CX160. They're the only two cameras I have. And you might be wondering, well, what are you recording with? Oh, well, I'm recording with my phone. I'm trying out the new tripod holder I just unboxed, and it does feel a bit flimsy. I might just be using the head, the tripod head, and putting it on the on my big tripod and just using it from there because the little tripod does seem a little flimsy. The tripod mount came right off when I first um, tried to put on my phone and I didn't really like that so I'm just probably going to use a tripod holder and put it on my tripod. But anyway, here's my D3200 and my Sony HDR CX160. And today's unboxing we're going to be doing the newer 3-in-1 photo lens. And this is for the iPhone 5. I might switch my iPhone 5, what I'm recording on right now. Uh, I might switch it to my tripod, my big sturdy tripod, just so we can actually test these out together. Because this little tripod isn't going to really hold up. It's very, I'm finding it very difficult to actually focus, tap to focus, because I feel like if I tap it too much, the tripod's going to flip forwards because it is a little top heavy. So on with the unboxing. I might need my knife. I might not, but uh, I don't think I need it, but all you have to do is really, oh wow, it ripped. <laughs> oh well, so all you have to do is just do that, and it comes right out, and it does come with a carrying pouch, and here's the lens, so just open the plastic box, here are lenses, and they do come with, with what's it called, what are they called, uh, lens caps. So we take that off the lens caps, and that one's the macro lens. We put it back on. So you just take off your lens caps, just like that. As you can see here, it says wide, and if you turn this way, it turns macro, and it just you just take it off. Uh, this is our fisheye lens. As you can see there, newer, newer fish eye lens 180 degrees. So we're going to try these out as soon as I get to the little pouch. So here is the carrying pouch. So you can carry it in in case you don't want to just use it. So I'm going to go switch to my big tripod because I feel like this little tripod might quit on me. So I'll be right back. Alrighty then, so here I am back with my big tripod now. It's still my iPhone. So here is the little guy, kind of a bummer that this came off just like that. And it does have extendable legs, as you can see there. It's really helpful, but I just I might just super glue this back on there so I can keep using it. I really did enjoy using this the moment that I did use it. And so yeah, I'll try to keep using it, tell, keeping you guys updated on how I feel about it. So I will leave the link in the description to the unboxing of this with the link to Amazon, buy at your own risk. That's what I have to say, buy at your own risk. I don't recommend this product because it's flimsy. I just wanted something practical and it was cheap too, so I guess you got what you pay for. Anyway, we're not here for an overview of the little tripod. We're here for this. Something I've been re really waiting for. Installing the newer FWM-5 3-in-1 photo lens is just as easy as it looks. All you have to do is just slide it on there and make sure it's facing the camera. If you want to flip the lenses, all you have to do is just switch it like that. And just like that, you pop it back on there. It does block the lights, the flash there, so please keep that in mind and your lock button as well. So you might have to take it off to unlock it and relock it. So Here we have the new R Fiat fisheye lens. No, that one doesn't come off. It's this one that comes off. This is the wide-angle lens, and it comes off, and it becomes the macro lens. Now, I know there is the Olo clip out there, but I wasn't really going to waste $60, $70 on an Olo clip when I can get this for almost 90% of what the cost is. So I'm just going to pop this on my camera, and I'm going to show you guys what it does. So... I'm not even going to pause the video, it's going to be all live, so as soon as I figure out where my camera is. This is the fisheye lens, so here goes nothing. There's my there's a fisheye lens, as you can see, I moved everything out of my way. 
and everything's in focus. It does have some spherical aberration, which means it's distorted in the corners, but that's okay. You guys, as you can see, guys, my, my desk is a mess. I try to get everything here out of the way because usually I'm just focused on this little square here or just this little area. But as you can see, my desk is a mess. So yeah, the wide angle, right angle lens, the wide angle lens does really work out really well. It goes from like back here to over here. So I might be cautious about using this in future videos. Now we're going to be doing the wide angle lens. So pop this off. As you can see, the major change there. Uh, going into the wide angle lens. There's a wide angle. As you can see, it's not as wide as the fisheye lens, but you could still get some wide shots there in case you want to take pictures. Now I'm going to be taking off the wide angle lens. So you and there's our macro lens. I'm sorry it's out of focus. I'll try to find something we can get close up on and look look at that man that's pretty cool that's that's pretty neat yeah <laughs> that's pretty neat I actually I like it so I'm gonna go get a quarter or a coin I'll be right back and I'll show you guys what that looks like so here with me I have a quarter uh, it's one of the new ones to confirm with you let's look for the date quarter dollar Liberty and you see all the little details in there there's a certain limit to how close or how far you can get without losing focus but I've never seen a quarter this close never let's take a look at the back and on the back bet you never seen that little fireman there they have you isn't this cool now this is something I would recommend you buy not the little tripod unless you want to use a little tripod to get the the holder tripod holder but yeah this is cool I'll show you guys how close I am I'm gonna take off the macro lens just so you see how close I am and it doesn't even focus it doesn't even try and slapping this back on there there it is so here's my unboxing knife I'm finally going to be able to get to see the little details in my unboxing knife. So here is the unboxing knife. So here is my unboxing knife. And that's what it looks like up close that's it for my unboxing and first look of the newer FWM-5 3-in-1 photo lens for the iPhone 5 I hope you guys like it please make sure to like comment subscribe and share with your friends it really helps us a lot and thank you for watching see you soon